Somebody that's going around shooting homeless people. Lord have mercy. Haven't done anything. They didn't do anything to earn that. But that's what's happening. And there's so many things that could be happening to us that don't. So get out of your pity party. All right. Get out of your feelings. And give God some praise. Yeah. Whatever that is, I'm not telling you that you got to stand up and right. clap like other people right. or anything. Right. But whatever you got to bring, right. bring it this morning in your yeah. own way. Right. Yeah. We can't tell you how to worship. But we do know that we all should worship. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm sorry to take up the time, but I just I I I, I see what's going on. Mm -hmm. I see what's going on. God gives me that sometimes to see what's getting ready to happen. And if we all put that aside, oh, it's going to be beautiful for God. Amen. The beautiful that we can give at Central Point. Nobody else. Amen. So now it's praying time. And cliche sometimes, it sounds like cliche, 
when you pray with me. But I really mean that. I need y'all to pray with me today. You know why? Because I can't do it all by myself. It never would have the same effect without you praying with me. Can we do that this morning? And the next song, can we sing with Brother Brother Shannon today? Brother Shannon, comes. he got cold and he didn't say, I can't sing today. He came and he's bringing what he had. And together, we're going to make it strong. Yeah. Amen. 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 We together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Point, we together? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go to God in prayer. Yes, sir. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning, Heavenly Father, and we, we thank you for who you are, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord. Because just in that, this morning, Heavenly Father, you saw fit to give us one more day, Heavenly Father. Yeah. One more worship service, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't promised to us, Heavenly Father, but you thought so much to give it to us. Yeah. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we're thankful for the way that you have protected us, mm -hmm. Heavenly Father. The way that you brought us here, Heavenly Father. Understanding all that's, that's happened, Heavenly Father. And yeah. Not even understanding that we were a second away from a an accident, Heavenly Father, or a, a minute away from getting robbed, or all these things that could have happened, and you are so good at loving us and protecting us that we don't even see what, what could have been in our path, Heavenly Father. We thank you for that, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for this opportunity to worship, Heavenly yeah, Father. Yeah. The time that we uh, have to come and to give you all the praise, glory, and honor that you deserve, Heavenly Father. Yeah. It's a privilege, Heavenly Father, not a chore. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for that. We thank you. Heavenly yeah. Father, we lift up everybody under the sound of my voice, Heavenly Father. Now, mm -hmm. while we understand that this is your time, Heavenly Father, we're human and we have situations that we go through, Heavenly Father. We yeah, have sure. concerns, Heavenly Father. We have ills and bills and all these things that happen in this world, Heavenly yeah. Father. But Heavenly Father, they're strength in you. Yeah. Heavenly Father, your track record is impeccable, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, you've never lost a case, yeah. Heavenly yeah. Father. You never get it wrong, Heavenly yeah. Father. So yeah. all we do is lift up all the things that we have going on and we put it in your hands. Yeah. With the ultimate confidence that you're able, Heavenly Father. Oh, yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, bless this congregation. Heavenly Father, we're not perfect, and there is no perfect congregation. But Heavenly Father, help us to get out of the way, Heavenly Father, and, 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 and do what you would have us to do. And Heavenly Father, we always know that our efforts are going to be blessed when we do that. Heavenly Father, bless the man of God this yes. morning, Heavenly Father. Yes. Not just today, Heavenly Father, yes. but in his going out and his coming in, Heavenly yes. Father, when he's deep in his office or in a dark corner studying, Heavenly Father, that you give him what he needs, Heavenly yes. Father, because his study without the Holy Spirit guiding him, Heavenly oh, Father, is void, Heavenly Father. So bless him. Bless him as he leads us, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, help us to follow, Heavenly Father, understanding that it's about your will and what you want. Yes. Heavenly Father, bless those that are not here for various reasons. Illness, Heavenly Father, yeah, yeah. Or, or just uh, uh, work or, or, or just out of place, Heavenly Father. Yes. You know the situation, yeah. Heavenly Father, even when we don't, you Heavenly don't. Father. So we ask that you, you bless them, Heavenly Father. Now, Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless this service, Heavenly Father. Yeah, Heavenly, Father. Yeah, Heavenly Father, we want this to be a special service for you, Heavenly Father. Yes, All of them, yes. we, should, we should want that for you, uh, Heavenly Father, because you deserve more than we could give you, Heavenly yeah. Father. So bless us that every song that we sing, Heavenly Father, we sing as though you are sitting right in front of us, Heavenly yeah. Father, and because you are. Heavenly Father, every prayer, Heavenly Father, that we lift up, that, that we lift up this prayer with uh, everything that we have this morning. And Heavenly Father, when the, your word is spoken this morning, Heavenly Father, that uh, we uh, uh, concentrate on that word, Heavenly Father. And that word, we ask that word, penetrate hearts, Heavenly Father. Please, Lord. And, 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 and help us to leave here better than we came, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for everything that you do 
Yes. Heavenly Father, everything that you will do, Heavenly Father, yes. because none of we don't deserve any of it, Heavenly right. Father. Right. But, but Heavenly Father, we mm. always want to be so careful, mm. so careful to, yeah. to realize, Heavenly Father, just how much you you mean to us, and yes, how much we can't do any of it without you, Heavenly yeah. Father. You're a great God. Yeah. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Church, let's say that one more time. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. Amen. Uh, Brother Marks, I want to say thank you for those, yes, sir. those words of encouragement this Amen. morning. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, I was just telling them before worship that my voice is gone, but uh, um, I said I, I owe Central Point this morning because I want to say thank you for all the prayers that you guys have been sending up for my dad recently as he's been having some severe health challenges um, and for those of you that reached out it, it meant a lot um, it's different when you get older yeah. and, and you see your parents having some challenges yeah. and um, my dad has always been a really strong person huh? strong a strong man my entire life and, yes, and they kind of see him down and in a a, a weakened state where uh it, his, his the, a cell phone is too heavy for him to pick up is a is a new day for me yeah. but because of god's grace um i still have my dad yeah, and, and yeah. i appreciate yeah. all of your prayers uh, it really has meant the world to me, and, and I, I want to say thank you to Brother Miles personally because he called me constantly asking me how my dad was doing and if, and if we needed anything, and that's the type of preacher we had, amen. amen. So we should always kind of remember that. So when you have challenges, when the world is kind of tearing you down, you need to take a little time and talk to the Lord and not always ask for something, but but just tell him thank you for everything he's doing in your life. Because there's somebody else that would love to be in your situation. Amen. 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 Is that real? That's real. All right. Show me the way. Oh, my Lord. Show Thank you, Lord. Me. Thank you, Lord. The way. Hey. Hey. While I'm down. Down in Lord. And I need your power. Just to make it, Lord. Just show me. Show me the Show me, 
praise unto praise. Yes. For he is worthy yes, to be praised. Yes, Watched over us last night, woke Amen. us up this morning. Yes, sir. And he started us on our way. Yes. He is worthy yes. of all of our glory. Yes. Yes. You're right. not here today because you don't eat red meat. Mm -hmm. yes, you're sir. not here today because you exercise all every right. day. Oh, no. You're not here today because you're taking the medicine that some man in a funny jacket gave yeah. you. All right. Yeah. Gave yeah. you a prescription you couldn't read. Yeah. Yeah. Took it to a man you didn't know. Yeah. He went behind a counter and put some stuff together you don't know nothing about. <laughs> and you take it religiously. Oh, yeah. That's not why you're here today. Amen. Right. You're here today because God is good. Yeah. And he is worthy. Come on and say it like you mean it. This is the Lord's house. This is the Lord's house. And I am his child. And I am his child. I have come for none other purpose. I have come for none other than to worship him. And to worship him. In spirit. In spirit. And in truth. And in truth. Because he is the creator. Because he is the creator. And I am the creature. And I am the creature. I'm going to hear his word. I'm going to hear his word. I'm going to believe his word. I'm going to believe his word. I'm going to live his word. I'm going to live his word. And I'm going to share his word. I'm going to share it. Will you turn to your neighbor now? Give him a friendly smile and say, neighbor. Amen. This is the day that the Lord had made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Come on and give somebody a hug this morning and welcome in the house of the Almighty God. Amen. 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 Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, all right, all right. Jesus is on the main line. Come on and tell him what he wants. Oh, my Jesus is on, He's on the main line. Come on and tell him what she wants. I know that my Jesus is on. He's on the main line. Come on and tell him what he wants. He wants to call him up and tell him what she
may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Oh, isn't it a blessing? Miss Lisa, isn't it a blessing to be able to call him up and tell him what you want? So, Skim, I've been married long enough to know sometimes your wife in the next room, she hear you, but she act like she don't hear you. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. Marcus, you know how I know that? Because I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, David, sometimes they call on you, but you don't, you don't even feel like hearing that alone answer. Huh? But Selena, we serve a God yeah, who is able to hear our cry. Right. And the true. Bible said he's more than able to give us not only what we need, Sister Jim, yeah. yes. but he gives us, Sister Pat, Sister Pam, he gives us what we surely, surely ask of in his name. Yeah. I'm thankful this morning to see each and every one of you. God has blessed us to come together once again. Tell us. Tell us. Sister Domika, that's a blessing. Yes, yes sir. Yes. It's good to see Brother Black off the road again. Right. Yeah, yeah. Praise dangerous, Lord. dangerous highway. Yes, sir. And God has kept him one more time. Yes, yes. Some of you have not been feeling well, yes. but you're here today. Praise yes. God. And we are grateful for your presence mm -hmm. on today. Yes. Brother Jay, our heart goes out to your dad, your mom, yourself. Yes. Yes. We know you have been burning up some highways. Yes. Amen. You're a faithful son. Amen. Faithful son. Amen. And God is going to reward your faithfulness. Yeah. Yeah. He will reward. That's the first command with promise. That's it. That's that when we honor our mother and our father, yeah. our days may be long yeah. upon Amen. the earth. So thank you for your example, Brother Jay. It's good to be here. We welcome all of our visitors, all of our friends, those of you who have been here before. You're no longer considered a visitor, but a friend and part of our family. Mm -hmm. And we're grateful for your presence on this morning. Mm -hmm. I want to remember Sister Jewel Woodard in our prayer. Jewel is home, not feeling well. I want to remember Brother Joe Dean in our prayers. He is also home, mm -hmm. not feeling well. I know for the last few weeks there's something going around. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mirrors are cold, then it turns into like the flu. And and so we want to be prayerful Amen. Uh, for our brothers and sisters. Remember my great friend and brother from another mother, my colleague, the work in the pulpit in the word, Dr. Manuel Jernigan and his family, as they laid his son to rest. Please remember them. But the Cliff Pugh also has asked for God's favor this morning. Uh, Sister Pam, we trust that Jack is doing well. He's doing well. Um, have you heard from Miss Vicki? How is she doing? She she passed away. We're going to certainly be praying for her family. We're going to be praying for her family. Um, Sister Pam, thank you so much. Um, again, Brother Jay Shedden is here, but we want to continue to pray for his dad and his mom as well as Jay. I think I told you on Wednesday, in Bible study, that uh, caregivers uh, can be warned. And I've seen it in my own family. Seeing before my very eyes, my sister and my brother uh, being warned, yeah. uh, and they do it with love, yeah. mm -hmm. caring for my mother daily, yeah. hourly, mm -hmm. but it is taxing on the body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. And I see them, Sister Iris, I see their health changing right before my eyes. Right. Yeah. So I've encouraged them to reach out to the family and think I've had a vacation since I've been here. Five years. But I told them, let me know and I'll make time Amen. that they might get away uh, and that I may serve in their stead. Because I told them, Brother Marks, there ain't no use to have three funerals. That's right. No, that's right. Right. Saying that. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. It's real. The struggle is real. Amen. Amen. My beautiful sister, and I call Sister Stephanie our beautiful sister inside out. Stephanie is a sweet spirit. I want to remember her and Sister Sinclair. Amen. Sister Sinclair is doing much better. Amen. And we're grateful, and I believe it's the prayers of the saints. Amen. So let's remember to pray on her behalf. Our dear faithful Sister Faye, her daughter Victoria, please remember my brother, our brother Carlos, and Sister Nancy Emmons in the prayers. Mr. Nelson Evans, Sister 
niece, Sister Evans, is with us today. She's been dealing with sickness, and, and God knows what else. Uh, we're going to pray for her. Yeah. She's looking beautiful today, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Looking beautiful. <laughs> it's y'all ain't going to bother that. Y'all didn't hear that. I'm not going to be gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Our sister Felicia Goodman in our prayers. Yeah. Sister Goodman works, I think, three jobs. And we want to remember her and her family for favor of God. Amen. Um, Jerome's family. Brother Jarrell is here. God has smiled on him, Amen. has blessed him tremendously. Amen. And we believe it's the prayers of the saints. Yes, sir. And let's remember that. Brother Jorte also texted me. Uh, and we will uh, submit his prayer request, his full prayer request during the time uh, of prayer request. But we want to remember Brother Jorte Pfeiffer. In our prayers, he is thankful for this church Amen. and the blessings of the family that, that he has received in this church. Amen. And we're going to be praying for him in favor over his life. Amen. Amen. I want to ask you to personally remember the Path Crisis Center. Amen. God uh, has been good. Amen. And we actually remember that institution in your prayer that God will show victory uh, to Sister Amen. Evans and her team for the great work that they do for humanity. So Amen. we want to pray for that. Y'all ready to talk to the Lord? Amen. Father, we come in the holy and righteous name of Jesus one more time. So grateful, Lord. We know that we only exist today because of your grace and your mercy. We acknowledge, first of all, that we are all sinners only saved by your master's grace. Father, you know the name of those we have lifted up before you. You know their conditions, their circumstances, their concerns, their challenges, their hills, their mountains. Father, we ask you to heal those who are sick. Watch over and protect those who trust you. We ask you to give favor to all of those who we praise before you, Father, even our dear brother John Elliott. We're so thankful for what you've done for all of them, Lord. We're praying in the sweet, holy name of Jesus that you will simply deliver them, Father. Bless them in their needs and their cares and their concerns. And now, Father, we're praying for the preached word this morning. Father, you know the hours that I've spent in preparation. Father, you know the research, prayers, and studies that I have engaged in. Now, Father, what I'm asking you to do is to use me as a vessel of honor for your glory and in your name. Use me now, Father, my mind, my eyes, my mouth, and my body to work in unison, that I will exalt you and your will and not my own, that the lost will be saved, the saved will be edified, Satan will be terrified and flee, and at the close of this day, the man of God will be encouraged. We trust you, we love you. Give me now thy preaching power. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that I ask it all. Let us all say it. We continue in this thought and in this study, thriving through a connected relationship with the church. Amen. Thriving through a connected relationship with the church. Coming off the subject of thriving in a focused relationship with God. Our text this morning is Ephesians chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. For emphasis sake, I'm only going to read verse 15, Marcus, because that's the only one I'm going to get through. <laughs> <laughs> we all stand just one more time for the reading of the word. The NIV reads this way, Brother David, and we thank you for the reading. Instead, let me hear you say instead. Instead. Speaking the truth in love. Yeah. 
we will grow. Let me hear you say grow. Grow. To become in every respect, Sister Pam, the mature body of him, Brother Black, who is the head, and that is Christ. Let me hear you say head. head. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Sensational saints, before the Apostle Paul begins to expound on the Christ walk by giving instructions on Christian living, beginning at verse number 17, Sister Evans, he concludes his exhortation of unity and maturity in the body of Christ. Did y'all catch that? Yeah. Unity and maturity in the body of Christ with our power text in verse 15, uh, we will there begin this, uh, this investigation of God's word. Beloved, I told you before that life is filled, Selena, with causes and effects. Right. Nick, there is a reaction mm -hmm. for every action. Y'all gonna walk with me this morning? Jarrell, sometimes the results are immediate, while other times the results are slow, but yet progressive. Am I close to being right this morning? Listen to the aim. Listen to the aim, Micah. Listen to the aim, Caesar Saints. I'm going to labor in this lesson this morning, Brother Spence, to illuminate the individual, let me use say individual. individual, the individual working within the body, which is the church of Christ, in an effort to strengthen the whole body. Y'all yes. hear that? Yes. Our focus, uh, uh, Selena, uh, Sierra, our focus is for us to understand the individual effects yes. and the workings of the individual, mm -hmm. the work, the faith, the trust of the individual that causes a growth and a maturity to the whole body. Amen. Are y'all walking with me? Amen. So you need to understand. Let me just put me in here. And, and it's not in my study, but the Holy Spirit has given it to me. We need to understand that every individual in the Lord's church is just as important as the other individual. Amen. And I told you before, a title does not make you important. Amen. I wish I had some help here. Just because you wear a title, just because you have a position, does not make you more important than anybody else. Amen. My brain is just as important as my toes. Y'all ain't gonna help me, but I'm gonna preach it anyhow. I, I said my eyes are just as important as my mouth. If I didn't have a mouth, how could I eat? Y'all ain't gonna help me here. If I didn't have eyes, how could I see? So don't you ever throw yourself a pity party. Start acting like folk don't think you important. Or you really don't matter. I'm not going to show up because somebody else can do it. How do you know, Kate? Nobody do what you do like you do because God has wonderfully and fearfully made you individually like he made nobody else. Nobody shares the same fingerprint. I don't care if you're an identical twin. You do not share the same exact DNA. Why? Because you are fearfully, wonderfully designed, made, created by God himself for a divine purpose that nobody else can do like you do. Turn to somebody and ask them, what are you doing to strengthen the body? Come on, ask the other person on the other side of you. What are you doing to strengthen the body? Now, I dare you to find somebody and tell them you ought to be doing something. Good God Almighty. I would tell you to tell somebody you ought to be doing better, but y'all might be too scared to say that. <laughs> Beloved, watch the beginning language of the beginning of our power text, Sister Corey. In verse number 15, J, it starts with a word, Brother Elliot, instead. Mm -hmm. Let me hear you say instead. Instead. Yeah. Instead, Max, matter of fact, Max, Max had a good game, y'all, yesterday, 16 points. Yeah. Max, let me tell you something, Max. The word instead is an adverb. Uh, it is an adverb that is used to introduce, watch this now, 
an alternative or a substitute. So the question immediately becomes uh, this morning, Ayla, uh, the question becomes, what is it? What is this alternative or substitute? Brothers and sisters, notice verse number 13 and 14 of Ephesians 4. In verse 13, there is a clear expectation for the believer. The child of God to mature in the knowledge, life, and mission in Jesus the Christ. It's an embarrassment and it shows the immaturity of a child of God to walk around saying, I don't know my purpose. It is a sign of immaturity for an individual to be a member of the Lord's church under a good sound preacher and teachers, under a good educational department, and yet still says, I don't know what God wants me to do. Yeah. Well, brothers and sisters, the first thing you got to understand that when you come into the body of Christ through the watery grave of baptism, Galatians 3.27, you need to understand the first expectation that God has on your life is for you to mature in Christ. Amen. Stop walking around being an embarrassment to God and yourself by saying things like, well, this is just the way I am. Y'all know I've been this way for years. That shows just how ignorant you really are because God expects everybody to develop and to grow. Amen. Watch now the cause and effect in verse number 14. Then, when, then, we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching. Is that in your Bible? And by the cunning, Brother Elliot, and the craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. Wait one Holy Ghost minute. Can I put a penny in the meat and part my mule this morning? You want to know why so many so-called Christian systemized who have been in the church for years under spiritual sound preachers, elders, and teachers, but now everything that somebody come believing and teaching, they all of a sudden, Sister Evans, fall to the foolish and the folly of their preaching. Yeah. How many of you decorated saints know that sitting in a garage don't make you a cop? All right. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. Hello, somebody. How many of you know sitting in a kitchen doesn't make you a cook. How many of you know that standing in a bank don't make you a millionaire? All right. I've come to the bloom this morning to tell you, uh, sitting in Sunday school, Lord. Bible class of worship, yeah. don't make you a Christian. Yeah. And it sure enough won't mature you. All right. That's right. Hello, somebody. Turn to somebody and tell them, you got to get in the word until the word get in you. Come on, turn to somebody and say, you got to get in the word. Stay in the word until the word get in you. 44 years of ministry have caused me to witness preachers and elders' children. Did you hear what I said? Preachers and elders' children who was literally, so to speak, born into the church has grown up in age but has not grown in the word living in a house with a preacher who eats who sleeps and bleeds the word of God who lives the word of God out in example in his life who has shown you what faith is all about who's shown you how to hold on to God's hand in the middle of your storm who shows how to walk through the storm by faith they get into the world and they then begin all twisted and they succumb to all kind of doctrines why did that happen because 
because they were sitting in church, but they weren't coming to worship. They were living a life playing church, living a life going with the flow, living a life faking it until they make it. I want, I want to put every member of Central Point on notice again. I told you this before. I don't want to hear any members of Central Point festering that false doctrine. I'm just faking it until I make it. That's a devil's lie. I know it sounds good colloquial, but let me tell you something. You need to be a shining light. Yeah. You need to be a billboard for Christ. Yeah. Don't let that come out of your mouth. I'm faking it till you make it because all fakers, God said, yeah. are going to end up in a fiery furnace. <laughs> yeah, coming to church but not going to worship. Uh -huh. Coming to class acting glad mm -hmm. but not taking notes. And now they act like a dope. Singing for the sound and the melody, yes, but not because you're on your way to heaven. Yes, Turn to somebody and tell them you gotta want it, you gotta want to, it. Get it. to get it. Tell somebody else you gotta want it, gotta want to, it. Get it. to get it. You didn't need Brother Miles to tell you that because you good, got good practice in it. Everything you want, you do whatever it takes to get it. You will rob Peter to pay Paul. You will take on an extra job mm -hmm. during the holiday season mm -hmm. just so you can buy what you want to buy for yourself and your family. You ought to say amen. It's mighty quiet in here. Oh, yeah. That's when I know I'm preaching good. Yeah, <laughs> when it yeah. gets quiet and you draw back your toes, you need to understand that life is all about decisions. Life is all about choices. Yeah. That's why I don't argue with you when you're giving me all these lies and excuses of why you can't come to church, of why you can't be faithful in Bible study. And some of y'all don't come to Bible study. But here's the point I want you understand that God has an all-seeing eye yeah. and he's watching you and he's taking a record of when you make all kind of sacrifices for yourself for your family for your career for your education, for your nappy-headed children, for your nappy-headed grandbabies. But then when it comes to God, you are full of excuses. Well, I got to do this and I got to do that. But when it comes to you and what you want, what you have decided you want to have, you make every, 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 every. You make every sacrifice you want to get what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn to somebody and tell them you got to make up your mind. Make up your mind. I come to tell you, God ain't going to kick in your door. That's right. He ain't going to kick in your door and put a chain around your neck That's right. and chains on your feet That's and right. make you worship him. That's right. That's right. If you waiting for some big miracle to happen, well, I'm going to wait time or two. I'm going to grow up and then I'm going to be like Brother Miles. I'm going to be like the same. I'm going to be with it. Tomorrow is not promised. Ain't four fourteen. Your life is a vapor. Yeah. You better start today. Babies are coming out of the womb dead. What makes you think you got tomorrow? Such a rainy saints. So Paul says, when you have matured, here it is. Watch the formula. Watch the progress. When you have matured in Christ. When you have been a faithful student mm -hmm. of the word, mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of being immature infants mm -hmm. in Christ, right. instead of being tossed mm -hmm. to and fro mm -hmm. with anything and what the majority practice, mm -hmm. instead of being blown around by the wind mm -hmm. of false teachers, he urges the believers, Brother Jay, in verse 15, the A part, speak the truth in love. Mm -hmm. Speak the truth in love. Mm -hmm. I got a question. What are you doing, Paul? What are you really doing in this dissertation? What are you doing in this, in this pericope? I hear Paul saying, Sister Pat, that I'm trying to show you 
what it really looks like when you are thriving, watch this, Brother Smith, through a connected relationship with the church. Church, can I tell you, one of the sure signs that you are in a true connected relationship with the church is when the church has no problem with speaking the truth. Now let me let, let me let, let me make that crystal clear. I'm not talking about the preacher alone. I'm not talking about the leaders alone. Because see, first thing people do, well, yeah, Brother Marx is going to say that because he's one of the leaders. Brother, Brother Spence is going to say that because he's one of the leaders. You can expect him to say that. So I really don't pay much attention to that. Brother Miles is going to say that because he's the preacher. A true sign of a mature church that's connected is when Brother Spence get a chip on his shoulder and think he's going to find a company shoulder in Sister Miles for his pity party. And he began to talk to Sister Miles. And Sister Miles said, well, let me tell you what Paul said. Mm, all right. Yeah, yeah. But Spence, he loses his taste with Sister Miles. Then he went over to David. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to invite David to the pity party. Mm -hmm. and he began to he shoot his shot with David, and David said, Well, let, well, let me tell you what the Apostle John has written. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And he done lost his taste with David. David, yeah, right. David ain't got to worry about him calling him no time soon. Right. <laughs> then he went to Brother Nick. Uh huh. And Nick in his own sweet, gentle, giant way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say, well, well, Brother, well, Brother Spence, that, you know, Brother Miles taught us in <laughs> such and such. <laughs> such. <laughs> That's right. Boy, I thought they were. Watch this. Because yeah. we're talking about connection, Jay. That's right. We're not talking about a one, one side deal. Right. So watch this. So by now, Brother Spence get the message. Mm -hmm. And everybody is speaking true. Yeah. So now there's only two things. There's two decisions he can make. Whether he's going to stay and accept truth or whether he's going to flee. That's right. That's right. So let me show you what won't happen. He sure won't cause no division. All right. Y'all don't know where to get happy Y'all don't know where to get happy with him. That's right. But if Sister Miles was not a speaker of truth. The church. Mm. She's part of the church. Right. If she was not a speaker of truth, mm. oh, the devil growing right. stronger. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Then both of them go to, he go to David and say, you know, I talk to this man, she would agree with me. And he dropping on David, and David weak in the spirit, ain't been studying his Bible, ain't been listening, ain't been praying, and he just as weak as water, just like Sister Miles, and now he got another ally. That's right. That's how it happens. And then I got to get in the pulpit and preach the hell out of all of them. Oh. <laughs> Don't say I'm cussing. That's what's in them. Hell. Yeah. And I've been commissioned to preach the hell out of every heart That's right. and Christ into them. That's right. Beginning with my wife. Yeah. She'll tell you. She'll tell you. I'm not afraid of what she may do or may not do for me. I'm going to tell her what the word says. Uh -huh. And if she want to be uptight mm -hmm. and stingy, mm -hmm. y'all don't know what to say amen. <laughs> uh -oh. The Lord is able to fix that too. Uh -oh. Church, when the church has no problem of speaking truth, we will then have body. Amen. Seasoned saints seasoned saints will tell you that it is the speaking of truth that helps you mature. That's, right. That's what a seasoned saint, our brother will tell you. They're not going to jump in your pity party. They're going to tell you shut that down. They're going to tell you to grow up. They're going to tell you you out of the word. They're going to tell you you out of line. They gonna tell you they, they ain't gonna uh, scratch their head when they ain't itching and try to find a way not to hurt your feelings. They're gonna tell you the truth. Amen. 
And seasoned saints will tell you, if there's no truth, Corey, there's no Christ. If there's no truth, David, there's no church. The seasoned saint will tell you, if there's no truth, Susanna, there is no forgiveness. If there's no truth, Brother Smith, there's no salvation. No truth, no mercy. No truth, no grace. No truth, no change. No truth, no growth. No truth, no progress. No truth, no increase. No truth, no healing. No truth, no resurrection. No truth, no heaven. If there ain't a heaven, you got to be on your way to hell. Church, church, my time is up. Watch the, watch the sacred text. I don't know who I'm talking to, and I don't know who needs to hear this. But if you're going to please God, and if you are going to truly be, my time is gone, y'all bear with me. If you're going to truly be in a connected relationship with the church, you're going to have to stand flat-footed, filled with humility, and tell folk the T-R-U-T-H truth. Amen. That's be obedient. Stand on your feet, because my time is gone. 22 minutes. I'm, I, I, that's why I preach in series, ain't eh? So I don't have to try to get it all to you, because some of y'all can't handle what I done gave you already. Because <laughs> I'm looking at you. You already mad. You already mad with the spirit, because you ain't mad with me. And don't waste your time being mad with me, because I don't care. <laughs> so don't waste your time being mad at me. Hello? Yeah, yeah. If you're going to please God, watch this. Here's the close the message I want to take home. Mm -hmm. If you're going to please God, and if you are going to truly be in a connected relationship with the church, mm -hmm. not the minister, not the leaders, right. you're going to have to stand flat-footed, filled with humility, mm -hmm. and tell your family, tell your neighbors, Tell your co-workers and show enough folk that sit on the pew with you when they call you. You got to tell them truth. Amen. Because it is true that causes us to mature. And that's children of God. We're going to show you next week if God be my help. We're going to show you how you're able to do it. Because see, we're full of emotions. We're human, baby. We're human. We're full of emotions. And we got relationships. Yeah. And we got people who's like, we don't want to hurt their feelings. But I'm going to show you through the text. It's already in there. I'm going to show you through the text. And God bless us the court. She, she helping y'all. and She really helping y'all too because I used to give y'all most of my sermon in the PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. And so story had the, the spirit told her, Brother Miles, you giving them the whole lesson. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all ain't going to work. If I give you everything, you ain't gonna take no notes. Mm -hmm. And so y'all should see that. I don't know. I don't know what how she make it look so good because I don't hardly give her nothing now tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for technology. You can go back and review it. Mm -hmm. But if we're gonna mature, and if we're gonna help the whole body mature, mm -hmm. we can't sugarcoat it. We can't water it down. Mm -hmm. That's right. We must tell the T R U T H. T R U T H two. That's that's what we got to do, church. Amen. And I'll show you next week that we're empowered to do that mm. by the love of Jesus. Yes. You ought to want to see your loved ones saved. Yes. Sir. You ought to want to see your coworkers. Don't pat nobody on the back all the way to hell. Right. That's right. right. That's right. You know somebody's wrong. You need to, with all the love of God, <laughs> you need to tell them the truth. It's true that brought salvation to me. If you're here today and you need prayer, fill out the prayer request form. We have a prayer request form. Fill it out. We're going to pray with you not only today, and the church will tell you here, we pray all week long. Amen. So we're not going to just pray for you today. We're going to pray for you throughout the week. Even in our private prayers, we're going to pray for you. But if you need to be saved from your sins, what do I need to do, Brother Miles? Here's what the Bible says you must do. If you're going to be saved, if you're going to have all your sins removed and your slate wiped clean and begin a new life in Christ, you got to hear what God has to say, Mark 12, 29. Mm -hmm. 
The first of all commandments mm. is to hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Lord. You've got to hear God. Mm. And the reason you've got to hear God, because without faith you can't please him. Mm. Hebrews 11 and 6. Now, where does faith come from? The word of God. Romans 10, 17. So, the word of God is what gives you the, the empowerment to hear God. And the reason you want to hear God, because you've got to believe it. And then you got to turn from sin and turn to God. Doesn't mean you become perfect, but you have to, have to repent. Yeah. Read again, repent, turn, turn again to God. Yeah. That's what you must do. Look, Luke 13, 3, and verse number 9. And then listen, you must confess that Christ is the Son of God. Matthew 10, 32, he says, if you confess me before man, I'll confess you before my Father. In verse 33, he said, if you act like you don't know me down here and you reject me when you get to heaven, I'm going to kick you to the curb. Mm. Mm. That's what he says. Right. And then you've got to be buried in water grave baptism. Don't you listen to Joel Osteen and none of these other liars mm -hmm. who tell you you can say a sinner's prayer. That is nowhere in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You must be baptized mm -hmm. for the remission of your sin and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, Acts 2 and verse 38. Mm -hmm. Baptism puts you into Christ, Galatians 3, 27. The reason you want to be in Christ, because Paul said in 2 Timothy 2 and verse number 10, that salvation is in Christ. Mm -hmm. So if you want to obtain salvation, you got to get to where salvation is, right, man. in Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, what does that mean in Christ? It doesn't mean in a church. It means in Christ's spiritual body. How do we know that? Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22, 23, have made him to be head over all things too. Not a church. The Greco says the church, which is, the, which is his body. Right. So if salvation is in Christ and it's in his body, it's in his church. Because Paul writes again in Ephesians 4 and 4 and says there's only one body. So if there's one body and that body is the church and salvation has been put in Christ. And that in Christ is the one body, which is the one church. Then salvation is in one church. Right. Now, next week, I'm going to show you who, who is the, the head of some of the most popular religions in the world. But the Bible is clear. But I'm going to why all these people in these other churches. Ephesians, uh, first, second Timothy chapter 4. Paul said they're going to come a time. When men will not endure sound doctrine, but they shall heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears. They want to be satisfied. He said they shall turn away from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. That's why men are in man made churches, because they want to be pleased. See, in the church of Christ, we only do those things that's found according to the apostle doctrine. Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, because that's what they continue in. Right. And the apostles' doctrine. Yeah. If the apostles didn't teach it, they didn't practice it. Right. Yeah. And the reason they didn't teach it or didn't practice it because it didn't come from word from the word. Because see, the faith comes from the word. Faith empowers us to worship God pleasingly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if what we do is not found in the word, then it's not faith. Mm -hmm. Man, I got to quit. Y'all see how much I enjoy it. I should, you know, I have a party when I'm studying. I'm telling y'all, I just have a celebration. The fact of the matter is you need to come with Jesus. Amen. You need to come this morning. Tomorrow is not promised unto you. If Jesus says if you die in your sins, mm -hmm. why I am I cannot come. Well, what about my mama? My mom and daddy was this. They leave that in the hands of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Jesus yes, said, he who heareth these sayings of mine and reject them shall be judged by the same in the end. We don't know what your mom and daddy rejected. Mm -hmm. Leave them in the hands of God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because he's an honest God. Yeah. Merciful. Yes, sir. You know to do good. Mm. You better do it. Amen. Because if you do it not, the Bible says it is sin. Amen. So you need to come to Jesus. Don't worry about grandma. Don't worry about daddy. You need to come to Jesus. Right. When I come to my house, what's going to happen? I'm going to ask you a simple question. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? If you answer yes, water has been prepared for you. Private dressing room is prepared. Clothes is ready. Heaven is waiting. I said heaven is waiting. I said heaven is waiting. Isn't that, a, isn't that a shout? Yeah. yeah. Man. Heaven is waiting to throw you a party 
to rejoice over one soul that repents than 99 plus who need to repent. When you come, we're going to sing a song. An old song. I love to sing. Just ask. Mm -hmm. Just that by it. God loves you enough to accept you as you are. But he loves you too much to leave you like you come. Just as I am the will one has responded this morning. I want to thank, I want to ask for prayer for myself and my family. I'm asking for prayers for my father and for his health. God bless you, Sister Mary. Brother Cliff Pugh, thanking God for another day. Pray for me as I am, uh, pray for me as I am struggling with financial and legal issues. Pray for my health as I am experiencing some anxiety. Pray for patience and peace of mind. But a few, I know you're watching and we're going to be praying for you. Amen. Sister Iris Cannon, thanking God for allowing me to see another day. Amen. Please pray for my immediate and extended family. Pray for my CP family. Brother and Sister Miles and their ministry and family. Thank you, Sister Iris. Please pray for my health. Pray for my circle of friends. Pray that I will trust God in all things. Prayers for peace. Amen. Amen. Sister Kim Spence, thanking God for his grace, his mercy, and love. Praising God and asking him to Show us more and more of his goodness and love. Amen. Please pray for my stepmother, Jenny, 
who is battling health issues. Also, God bless Brother and Sister Miles. Thank you, Mrs. King. And the Central Point Church family. Amen. Sister Tamika Robinson. Good morning, church. Asking prayers for my friend Robert while he deals with legal troubles. And Victoria dealing with unemployment. God bless you, Sister Tamika. We're going to be praying. She also desires the prayers of the church. Sister Selena Jones with her fine handwriting. I just want to thank God for his love and mercy. Just want to thank him for all the things he's been doing in my life. Amen. Even though I too don't always understand, I'm, I'm thankful, thank you, asking for prayers for Green. Her asthma was flaring this morning. And prayers for Junior. He's been under the weather lately as well. Prayers for me and Georgia as well. As we, we're trying to grow spiritually, Amen. mentally, and emotionally. God bless you, son. We're going to be praying for you. Amen. Brother Jorte Pfeiffer, Selena's husband. Good morning, Pastor. I hope you and First Lady are having a blessed morning. I just want to come before God and the church to pray and say thank you for the support and love we receive. Come to God this morning asking for his hand over our finances and comfort. Amen. With the winter season here, we've been trying to get my truck up to par, and, and so much is on our plate with moving and getting other things together. Our church has been a blessing to us, Amen. and I thank you all for the support. Amen. And God is great. I will continue to grow my relationship with you. Amen. Amen. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. Also, Sister Martha Evans will be traveling this week. We want to be praying for her, Amen. for her safe travels. Amen. 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 And also, Sister Fanetta Nelson uh, sends her love to the church, and she's grateful for the word on today. Amen. Shall I receive the word this morning? Amen. 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 Bless your heart. More than anything, I hope it has challenged you. Challenge you to make sure you're walking according to the will of God. Let's pray for it in this grand and gracious privilege. Father God, we come today thanking you once more and again for all of your grace and all of your mercy. Father, we lift up before you this morning, Brother Jorte and Sister Selena Jones. Father, we ask you to bless their family love, joy, peace, good health, and prosperity. We ask you to continue to grow and develop them through your word. Help them to understand that they must have a committed relationship with your word in order for them to grow in the word. Father, we're praying that you bless them, Father, in their finances, bless their business, bless and give them favor in their relocation to a new home. Father, we just ask you to bless them mentally and emotionally. Father, we're praying for Sister Tamika Robinson for her health and for her strength, thanking you for all you've done. And now we're praying a special prayer for Robert mm -hmm. as he deals with some legal issues, Father. We know that you are able to be a lawyer in a courtroom. Yes, so we ask you, Father, we call upon your name to bless Robert, yes. that he might know and understand that it was through his connection to the church by way of Sister Tamika mm -hmm. that you have shown him favor. Yes, that will cause him to give his life to you and to walk in the light. Amen. We're praying this morning for Victoria. Mm -hmm. Father, you know what she needs. We ask you to bless her with that new place of employment. Mm -hmm. Bless her financially that her and her family will be able to have the necessary needs of life. Mm -hmm. Father, we're praying for Sister Kim Spence this morning. Father, continue to bless her and her household with your grace and with your mercy, Father. Praying a special prayer for her stepmother, Jenny. Father, we ask you now to touch and heal Jenny's body. Yes. Heal her from the crown of her head to the tip of her toe, Father. We ask you to continue to bless Brother Kim, uh, Brother Spence and Sister Kim, and their grandchildren, their children, Father. 
and being blessed them to be faithful servants to this church, Lord. Father, we pray for Sister Iris Kim, Lord. Bless her family, her extended family, Lord. She's lifting up before you her minister, minister's wife, Father. Uh, this great church, the Central Point Church, Father. We ask you to bless CP, uh, that we will continue to grow, and that all of us, every member, will be dedicated and faithful and committed with their time, their talents, and their money. Amen. Father, we pray that Sister Iris will forever hold on to your gentle hand and that you will bless all of us with a peace that surpasses all understanding. Bless Brother Cliff now and his family. Father, you know his struggles, financial struggles, his legal issues, his health, Father. And uh, Father, we ask you now to give Brother Pew favor in all things. We ask you to give him this peace, that this anxiety will be removed, and that he will be patient, and that he will wait on you and trust for his change to come. We're praying for Sister Corey Mackins this morning, for her and her family. We ask you to bless them, Father, in love, joy, peace, good health, and prosperity. Praying a very special prayer on behalf of her father, and that you will touch and that you will heal his body, Lord. Now, Father, we're praying for this preached word that is going forth this morning. We pray that it shall not have fallen on deaf ears, but will find a resting place in the hearts of everyone who is under the sound of my voice that a great harvest of understanding and obedience will come forward, that you might be glorified. Some lost soul might be saved, the same terrified, Satan terrified. At the close of the day, the man of God will be encouraged. We love you, we thank you, and we ask you at the hour of death that we shall never die at the hands of man by mechanical failure or accident, but simply sleep away in sweet peace and hear you say, well done, on the other side. This is our prayer. We ask in your holy son, Jesus' name. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. I commend you to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among the saints of our Acts 20 and verse 32. Keep your hand in God's hand. Yeah. I'm praying for your preaching as I continue to pray for you. God bless you. service, uh, wonderful message, and uh, let's take these things home and not only think about them, pray about them. Amen. Uh, we can always take our minds back to the scriptures in Matthew chapter 26, yes, sir. when Jesus sat with his disciples yes, sir. on that fateful day, and he uh, drunk of the cup, and yes, sir ate of the bread, mm -hmm. and this is what we come to at this time, that we remember Christ and his sacrifice for us and what it means to us. Amen. Not just this day, but every day. Amen. Every day we need to find time to sit down and pray for what he's doing for us because we have no idea what Jesus no. is doing for us. No. But he's doing it, and his Father's doing it, every and the day. Holy Spirit's working in that. So that we can wake up each morning and do his will. Mm -hmm. So with those thoughts in mind, let us go to Father in prayer. Thank him for the sacrifice of his son, and the love of his father, uh, the moving of the Holy Spirit, and everything that they do for us. Is, yes. We can't pay that price by no means. No, sir. What God has done through his son. Yes. With these thoughts in mind, let us pray. Father, we humbly bow before you. We thank you, O oh Lord, for thank you. life itself. Yes. We thank you for uh, our minister and his wife. And we thank you, Father, for all those who are here today and all yes. uh, made that grand confession that yes. Jesus, Jesus died for us. Yes, he did. Father, we love you. Love you. We thank you for this day that you've given us. Help us to use it in all your glory. Mm -hmm. Help us to always be mindful that you and your son made it possible for us. Yes, yes, you did. We ask all these things always, always in the precious name of your dear son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Let us all say, Amen. 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 Amen.
tells us beginning at the ninth verse of chapter 10 Jesus said I am the door uh -huh. if anyone enters by me he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture the thief does not come but to to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus said, I have come yeah. that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Uh -huh. When we think about that, how Jesus is our shepherd, well, he protects us. Just think about a shepherd what a shepherd did and what they continue to do in lands today. They give their life for the sheep. So when we think of that, let's think about verse 14. I am the good shepherd, Jesus said. Yeah. And I know my sheep and am known by my own. So please talk to mine. Let's go to the Father and pray. Father, we thank you for all that you do for us. Help us, O oh Lord, to be good servants. Help us to do the things that you would have us to do for one another. Help us to continue to love. Help us always to carry the message of Christ wherever we go. Yeah. Father, we thank you for this privilege. In the blessed name of your dear son, Jesus, yeah. let us all say amen. amen. Glory to Thank you. 
Somebody says RSVP. <laughs> they ain't trying to just get in your business. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, I don't buy it. No. no. Right. Right. They're trying to avoid getting to the restaurant and five people was coming and then 15 people well, show up. Right. Right. And then they got to move tables all around right. and do all this stuff and people standing there. Just just say, I, I'm i planning to be there. I'm not planning Amen. to be there. Amen. It helps. <laughs> And plan. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 We all understand how that works. Yeah. Now, huh? That's right. So we, we ain't just being nosy when we ask you that. All right. So please, RSVP mm -hmm. uh, for the lunch. Uh, family devotion time. Um, our Central Point members are, are asked to have family devotion time. And um, in the next next time that's designated is uh, Wednesday, December 27th. That's around uh, Christmas time. And then Wednesday, uh, uh, January 3rd, since that's after the New Year's time. Uh, so, you know, please use that time wisely in lieu of not having a uh, class on yeah. those days. Uh, CP prayer requests, please submit your prayer request to our Central Point uh, prayer email, cpcocilpray at gmail.com. And we'll be glad to pray for you yeah. and, and, uh, and the family that they have. Uh, Giving options, as you see uh, posted there, we appreciate those that use those forums, and uh, you know that uh, it, it's uh, it's great to have technology in all these uh, different ways, and it's, it, it helps us to be able to prepare uh, to give ahead of time uh, versus just kind of uh, an afterthought of thinking about when we get here. Um, Central Point Prayer uh, Request Line, six thirty a.m. Monday through Friday. That's a great way to start your day. Uh, prayer list. Uh, be in prayer for the following individuals. Dr. Ophir Miles. Uh, she's the mother of Brother Miles. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Hallman family. Mm -hmm. uh, AJS Management. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's incorporated. We're glad to see Brother Black uh, here. Uh, you know, because 
Uh, for every good truck driver, there's some that's they not. Sell, they they sell sell one. One. So, so he had to drive for himself and them and everybody else too. So um, don't take it for granted, you know, uh, as he travels over those highways, him coming back to us. Uh, as, as was mentioned, uh, Cliff Pugh and family, uh, keep them in your prayers. Uh, Brother Matthew and Ramona Miles, keep them in your prayers. Uh, uh, Miss Florine Bowman, uh, the Cannon family, uh, Stephen Black and family. Brother John Elliott, that, that's there looking uh, gooder and gooder. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, look at him. He, 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 he clean. Check him out when he, when, when he leaves here today. Huh? And we get, he, he getting the strength back. I can yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, so sure. it's, it's great to see your prayers answered Amen. in the flesh. Amen. You, you actually to see it happen. Amen. So we continue to pray for him. And I know you ain't seen him up here in a while, but brother, it's coming. It's coming though, right, brother? He, he told me. He said it's, it's coming. So. You'll be able to uh, right. be graced with, with, with his knowledge that he may be part of the congregation. Amen. Amen. Continue to pray for uh, uh, Kim Taylor and, the, and the, his family as well, mm -hmm. and uh, Gypsy and David Jones. Mm -hmm. um, we have December birthdays coming up. Uh, uh, my wife, Tori, on the 20th. Uh, Michael McKinney's on the 25th. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie Hallman on the 27th. Melody Pugh on the 27th. Brother Hollis Spence on the 28th, wow. and Tyra Dean on the 31st. Right. So let's make sure that we give them some love on their, their birthdays, the blessings uh, yeah. that we get to see another year. Yeah. All right, if there is nothing left, I'll turn it over to Brother Miles. Thank you so much, Brother Johnson. Thank you so much. Thank all of you this morning for your presence once again. We had a great, wonderful time this morning. Man. I'm arriving this time to uh, welcome all of our visitors with us on this morning. And we have a Miss Rose Lewis, uh, who's a new child at community, is with us today with Adele, um, Adele who's nine, uh, and Mia Lewis who's 19. All right. Amen. 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 Where are they? Oh, okay. All right. Amen. 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 Ms. Lewis, did you enjoy yourself today? I did. God bless you. Amen. We trust and pray that you'll be back with us again. Amen. Uh, we want to uh, make sure all of you all give her the right hand of, of love or the, the arms of love and welcome her uh, today. Uh, are there any other visitors that I did not have a card for that's been here for the first time? All right. Wonderful, wonderful. We're all home. Well, listen, uh, Ms. Lewis, uh, there's a gift that we give to all of our visitors our first time visitors that you're not gonna get this gift from any other church nowhere in this city uh, because there is no place like this place. That's why you're in the right place this morning, amen? amen. We thank you for visiting us at the Central Point Church of Christ. Oh, we're so glad, so glad you came today to the Central Point Church of Started our 24. 
want to thank those who have already made pledges and those who have already started paying uh, on that campaign. There's a lot more we want to do uh, to this building, to these rounds, and so we want to ask you to participate. Y'all going to pray for me? Because yeah. I'm going to show sure love pray for you. I'll pray for you, will you pray for me? Oh, will you all apart?